Hey folks, I'm Kev and welcome back to the Lorcan Lexicon. Today, I want to share a few things with you. First, an anecdote about my experience opening Disney Lorcana boxes in my pursuit to get an entire complete set. And then a bit of math around the chance of completing a set by opening product alone. So, for clarity, I opened some personal boxes for myself so I could have cards to play with and I opened a stack of boxes for the shop binder so that the store could sell singles. Then I traded some own cards with the shop's cards to try and complete the set and make sure I had all 204 unique cards. When I was opening the boxes for myself, I was actually pretty happy with the progress that I made. After opening only two boxes, I was only missing seven cards from owning the full set. So I had 197 unique cards after two boxes. The only things I was missing after two boxes were six of the legendaries and the scar, the rare scar. But as I got deeper and deeper into the box opening, something horrific started happening. I could not, for the life of me, open a legendary Tekka. I opened 11 boxes total between my own personal cards and the stores and missed on the steel Tekka in every single box. I was distraught. I wouldn't have a full collection. As I opened more and more product, I started to feel like I was cursed. But as an engineering graduate, I couldn't help but feel I was maybe just on the bad side of probability, you know? I, I was like, maybe it's not too far off. So, I woke up my maths buddy at 7am and between us, here's what we figured out. So, it turns out this is already a mathematically known quandary. It's referred to as the coupon collector or the card collector problem where people commonly try and see how many cereal boxes they need to buy to get all the different coupons to win a prize, or how many random packs of like baseball cards or something they need to buy to complete a set. Our example was a little bit more complex as we were working with number sets. Most boxes I opened contained three legendaries, so I posed the question, assuming you get three legendaries a box, and they're all unique legendaries, how many boxes would you need to open to get the whole set of 12 reasonably guaranteed? Well, it turns out the coupon collector math doesn't like it when you start putting three coupons in every box of cereal, as now using like a 12 choose three set of permutations, there was 220 permutations of three unique legendaries in every box. And the maths very quickly spiralled into something we were not willing to engage with at 7.30am on a Saturday morning. We were lucky and found a rephrased version of the problem on Stack Exchange, so shout out to Stack Exchange, great little math resource, which looked a little more palatable and it allowed us to calculate the odds of how many boxes we'd need to open to have X cards missing. Basically, we just repeated 12 pick 3 until only one remained. The only issue is that the math here started to break if you set the missing card variable to zero. So we could only calculate how many boxes it would take to have only one missing. And we found that probability actually started to tend towards infinity around nine boxes, which actually checks out. With, with what I experienced with my 11. But, but, I wanted to know exactly how many boxes you would need to open to guarantee you would get all 12 legendaries. So we booted up Python and brute forced it. <laughs> we ran a simulation of opening boxes with three unique legendaries in every box one million times to see how many boxes it took the machines to open to get their 12 unique legendaries. And here's the distribution. As you can see, the peak of the curve is around 
8 to 12 boxes. Which actually checks out with the math that we did earlier where getting to only missing one legendary was pretty much guaranteed on 9 boxes. The crazy thing on this data is that some unfortunate computer simulation opened over 40 boxes before finding its first copy of Tekka. Then what we did was we aggregated the sum totals of this graph and here is the percentage shots of getting all the legendaries across a given number of boxes. So as you can see here, once you get to the 21 box mark, you're pretty much guaranteed that you'll have all 12 unique legendaries. That's over 97%. And by the time you hit 27 boxes, it's infinitesimally small. And in over a million simulations, every single simulation had completed the, the full set by 42 boxes. 42 boxes. Thankfully, within the first hour of Lord Canna launching, someone in the store opened up a Tekka and was willing to trade it to me and I finished my collection. So the collection's done and I'm going to show it to you in a little second. I've also included a link to a PDF down in the description that has all the math we used and it even includes the Python codes that we wrote. And it's got reference links to other better mathematicians work. So all my fellow nerds out there who find that stuff interesting, you can go down there, you can look at our Python codes, you can tell us why our math is wrong. I would be, I'd be really interested in seeing if we, we messed something up. So if that's your bag, go check that in the description. But for everyone who came here to see Lorcana cards, and here it is. I am so jazzed to have this collection complete. It's just one of, it's not full play sets, but I, I just wanted this kind of display binder. I used to really, really enjoy collecting full sets of cards, but I kind of lost my luster for it along the way. But like I keep going back to Disney Lorcana, it's just reignited something in me. You know, the just the raw nostalgia that this set seems to summon up in me and, and other people, you know, yesterday it was launch day and just the people coming out of the store, people who I never thought would be interested in this game were like, yeah, I love Disney, I, I, I want to give this a go. It, it's almost infectious and I don't know, look, I, I keep saying this, I keep saying there is something magical about this game but it does seem to be capturing the hearts of lots of people including me and I don't know if it's the art, I don't know if it's the kind of streamlined gameplay, it's quite fast, you feel like all your decisions matter during the game, it's just really pretty to look at, it evokes that kind of childhood excitement. I do honestly feel like I'm playing trading cards back in high school again which is which is an awesome feeling that's that's hard to recreate. Legendary Hades. So yeah, I, I'm really happy to have this. I'm going to keep this on my shelf probably forever. It, this one, her. Oh, that was an absolute nightmare to get. I. I honestly was beginning to think I would never get one. My pack opening luck is pretty garbage in in any card game. But <laughs> I was honestly beginning to get to the point where I was like, I don't think I will ever see a Tekka. I think this will just be my chase card forever. I remember when I was collecting a full set of Avison Restored, it was the exact same. I could not find a bonfire of the damned for life or death. But yeah, we got it. Literally someone came into the store and the first pack they opened had a Tekka and I was like bro <laughs> what do we need to do to make this happen <laughs> and then yeah just a bunch of brave little tailors on the back so there's obviously some foils in here there's no enchanteds I'm not absolutely insane I'm not going to try and collect the full sets of enchanteds but We've got all the legends and I am really happy with that. I mean, we've got all the cards. There's obviously some foil. I'm not, again, I'm not going to go out my way to try and do a full foil set. But yeah, 
I I am really, really happy with this. Again, not a super long video. I just thought this was cool. It's something that I wanted to do from the offset. And I did it, and I thought I would share it with you. So, yeah, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. If you want to see more content, there won't be a lot more like this, obviously. But we do gameplay, we do deck techs, we do general chat. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, show your friends, and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I really enjoyed making this one. And I can't promise that it's content I'll be able to make all the time. It's kind of hard to find relevant math problems for card games. But if you did enjoy it, give it a like, give it a comment, especially if you found issues in the way we did the math. I'd be really keen to hear about that. Or give me a subscribe. And if I do do more content like this, you definitely won't miss it. There's loads of other good content on this channel. At least I think so. So go and check it out and anything you can do to, to help spread the word about Lorcana Lexicon, I really appreciate. So thank you so much for spending your time here and I'll see you for the next one.